Hello viewers, in this video I will be going over gold miners, ETF ticker symbol GDX. Right now GDX or gold miners is up around 1.18% on the 1 hour chart. We just got off of the lows or oversold territory on the RSI and I do believe the MACD will turn positive meaning we may continue upward on this trend. On the 4 hour chart we also got out of the oversold levels on the RSI and we have the MACD converging upward. On the daily chart, I do believe the resistance level, if we were to continue moving up, will be the 8-9 day moving average. Why? Because this price level range coincides with the support level that dated back in March. So I'll mark this as resistance and for support if we were to continue down will be this 200 day moving average and the price movement if we were to move down from now to then will be a drop of 2.2% but if we were to move up that movement will be 2.72% upward. And for this module, I'll compare the current trend that we see here with this trend that dates back to April 27th, 2010 to July 22nd, 2010. I'll point out why these two charts are similar. So let's get started in the beginning of the trend. We have the trend remaining on the upward bound of the middle Bollinger Band, and we see it touching the upper Bollinger Band up here in the beginning. Afterwards, it gave up and proceeds to continue down, touching the bottom Bollinger Band. And then we see another attempt touching the upper Bollinger Band, and then another dip or down, down here, nearing the bottom Bollinger Band in an attempt but only made it to the middle Bollinger Band right here. And then we continue downward. What we see right now, this is in the channel that we are in. We have not broken the down channel yet. So on this chart, we have the chart starting off, remaining above the middle Bollinger Band, touching the upper Bollinger Band right here and then afterwards it touches the bottom Bollinger Band. If you're not familiar with the Bollinger Band, it's a tool used to measure price level and volatility. So after touching the upper Bollinger Band twice and it reaches the bottom Bollinger Band once more and then it reaches the middle Bollinger Band but fails to gain hold upward movement it continues in a downtrend what we see currently now so what we have here is one two three four five six seven points one two three four five six seven points so there's reason to believe if the patterns are similar the outcome will be also similar so let's check the forecast model of this timeline so on here, I'll go day by day where GDX or gold miners will head to in the next coming days. On one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So GDX at that time, or back in April 2000, or April 27, 2010 to July 22, 2010, GDX was down about 2.4%. And here's the chart, line chart that I compared it to. The patterns are similar. And I overlapped it with the trend that dated back in 2010. So that is all. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.